I haven't been on at all, actually. I haven't commentated a single set today. Uh, alright. Oh, God. No gorillas in the chat. Yay. I can barely hear you. <laughs> Me? Oh. <laughs> no, not you, him. It's like, what? Hello! Uh, so this is actually Loser's Quarters. Correct. So mark that as such. Three, Don't go two, yet, no! One, go. 3%, 15, why does Nair do 12%? Why? Why does anything <laughs> that Fox has do more than 10? Why? Well, I mean... <laughs> like, the moves that he can't use while moving are fine. Okay. It, the problem is that his aerials do so much. Like, it, you can move while you're doing aerials. Yeah. And Fox moves really fast. Yeah, he does. Like, whoa. <laughs> but anyway. Nice up smash. I, was that no DI? It looked like no DI. Um, uh, probably. No DI. Um, uh, I've been a little... Lazy with the with the stream tonight, I'll admit. I've been playing a lot of Shovel Knight on my brand new PS Vita. <laughs> it's a fun game. Uh, By brand new, you mean oh, used, used and resold? Used as fuck. I bought it from here. <laughs> uh, I got a good deal. What do you want? Uh, yeah, I was under the impression that they don't make PS Vitas because no one bought them. Uh, they actually do still manufacture do? PS Vitas, but this is the old model. They made a newer one. Oh, it's wow. That's huge. Yeah, it is. It's, the new one is slightly smaller. I actually don't think I would be able to play a smaller one. No. Like, that looks like the right size it's to me, actually. It's actually comfortable for me, yeah. yeah. Well, Seth has been playing very cautiously today, not just in this match, but... Yeah, uh, he definitely... I saw it in uh, in his match against Grandpa Dukes. I saw him playing, like, the really safe game. Yeah. Uh, and it works, so... Now, he typically does play safe footsies. That's usually his style. Yeah. But he has been very safe today. He's been uh, careful with his punishes along with his neutral game. I think it's because uh, he's been playing melee a lot and hasn't touched PM in a while, so he's kind of like, eh, I'm yeah. not really sure if I can do this. Let's just, you know, wait it out and see what I, happens. I know he went to Big House for melee. I'm not sure how he did, though. Mm. I remember him saying something, but I can't remember what it is right now. Wow, the nice falling up there. He looks so red on that camera, and also that's not he does. Bills. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Every time I do this, I know, I know. You have one job. Shh. <laughs> it's okay. Wow, somehow Bills managed to get turned around. That was sad. His jab flipped back. Oh, that's Wow, the, oh, the charge up on the up B is what kept Fire him off. Fox. That is impressive. Destruction. Let's go. All right, Seth. are we having a character swap? It looks like I, I agree. I think uh, this is the time for Bills to pull out his cannon. Not because it's a better match, just <laughs> just because I think he will I play think, better that way yeah. right now. Yeah. Like he just didn't look like he was really feeling the Marth, I guess. Yeah. Three, two, um, one, go. I would have to definitely go with go. Yeah. You go. Th you think Seth should go? <laughs> go. Uh, go. Okay, so we got uh, blue Ganondorf. It always confuses me because I see the stock icons and they have blue hair, and then I look yeah. at the character portrait and it's orange. Yeah. Ugh. Also, uh, Castle Siege. Castle we Siege. don't often see people end up at Castle Siege. I question this choice, but I'm actually starting to think it's a pretty good stage for Ganondorf because he doesn't really suffer a lot because of it. He relies on platforms for his movement, and the, the uh, slope doesn't really do much to hurt him. Yeah, I agree that I don't think the slope will do much to hurt him. Those platforms, uh, they're nice and low, which yep. I think will help him yep. in using them. But uh, the problem is they're also near the slope, which I... Oh! Uh, I did that today. It did, scared the shit out of me. It? Yeah, I did the same thing he did. Do you uh, have to press backwards? Uh, no, I don't think so. Hmm. Well, if you didn't and you still grabbed it, then I would go with no. I don't remember what I did at the time. <laughs> okay. All right. A good up smash from... Uh, Wrecked. Yeah. Is that I, a dash attack? Like no, I, that was forward air. Oh. He just came off the spawn platform. Forward air. I caught it out of the corner of my eye. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ah, the shine spikes. The Seth, Seth has been really good at shine spikes today. Yeah. Uh, I think he must have improved significantly due to melee because he used to be abysmal at them. Nice. Okay, so you saw Bills go for the side B jump down air. Yeah. That almost never works unless no tech. It only works on no tech. And it is so good to see somebody else doing it. 
I thought I was the only moron who went for that. I, I'm glad to hear that the audience is enjoying the music. Yes. Oh! We've had a lot of questions about the music today. Yeah? Uh, a lot of people have been asking, like, hey, where can I get that? So, yeah. Nice, nice. Oh, nice. oh, oh yeah, did. I mean, Oh, you want to go for well. the style ending. He had the stock for it. I'll give him that. Okay. All right. I can appreciate that. Um. You heard it here first, folks. Ben and Jerry's closes at 10, oh, apparently, no. because it's fall. Who would have thunk? Everybody closed at 10, no matter what time. No, Ben and Jerry's what? been closing at 11 all summer. Oh, oh shit. Yep. Yes, that was the Soul Calibur 2 song. Yeah. Uh, all right. With regards to all the jazz fusion in this pack, somebody commented on that. I wanted to bring another soundtrack to your attention, Runbo. Uh, it's a Wii U game that just came out recently, and it is amazing soundtrack. Send it to me. I will. Uh, we will definitely update the pack at some point, awesome. because the whole point is that we didn't let things get old, you know, yep. so once yep. this gets old, we'll have to change things. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, he's not going to make it. Nope. Now, I'm surprised that Seth chose to go to Battlefield. I know that he loves using those platforms. He uh, drops down, wave, uh, wave dashes in place, all sorts of things. He yeah. uh, keeps using those platforms over and over to stall and fake out. Yeah. So I know that he'd like this, but I feel like this is also a good stage for Ganondorf. It absolutely is a good stage for Ganondorf. I think it's yeah. the oh, brutal stops. Uh, so good to see. It's it's definitely good for both characters. I mean, it is obviously one of the more neutral stages in the game. Uh, but especially for these two, I think it benefits both of them a lot. It allows Fox to get those earlier <laughs> kills off the top of the stage because of the higher platform. Uh, it also allows Ganondorf a lot of free-range platform movement. So yeah, it definitely benefits both of them. Uh, I would also say the blast zones are a decent way away from the stage, which is actually a good thing for Fox in this matchup because he has a good recovery. Yep. Uh, and, you know, Gengorf does not. No. But on the other hand, like, it means that Gandorf is probably going to be able to edge guard Fox. Yep. Just the same, like, if you went to a really big stage, you might be even better off. Maybe. Like, I, I would say he really should have picked Dreamland if he was going to go for this type of thing. I wouldn't agree with Dreamland because I think the platforms are really bad for Ganondorf with the way that they're exactly. higher up. It was Fox's pick. Oh, fuck, you're right. <laughs> Okay, yeah, then yeah, I, definitely, that, I definitely would agree. That, there he goes. <laughs> he said it. He said it. <coughs> um, okay, Heard yeah. it here first, no, folks. Then I definitely agree with you. I think uh, Fox should.